Hi guys, Alyssa Paget here. I'm a Winnebago investor and I've been running my business from the road since 2014. By now we all have a taste of what it's like working from home. And if you liked it, you might be thinking, hey, I might wanna take this show on the road. So with more people trying RVing this year than ever before, we wanted to share 10 quick tips of things that we've learned over the years of how to make working on the road actually work. Let's get started. Tip number one, set your work hours and figure out how much you want to work. When you're working from home, there's no boss peering over your shoulder, making you feel like you have to pretend to be productive from nine to five. You get to set your hours. Of course, if you have a remote job, you may actually have a boss telling you when to work, but if you're an entrepreneur, you are totally in control. So you need to figure out what days you wanna work, how many hours you want to work, and then the rest of the time is devoted to traveling and having fun. Tip number two, nail your internet setup. People are their worst selves when they have slow internet. You can ask my husband on that one. So we use two things to make sure that we are covered no matter where we travel. First, we have an unlimited AT&T data plan that we use a Netgear MIMO antenna to boost that signal so that even if we only have one bar, we can actually still use that hotspot to power anything we want to do on our computers. And second, here built into the Winnebago, we actually have a King Wi-Fi Max, which is gonna be a Wi-Fi repeater. So if you're at a campground like I am right now, but you're kind of far away from where the actual internet is set up, this is gonna repeat the signal into your RV so that you can connect and have a stronger signal. Tip number three, carve out an intentional workspace. When you can work from anywhere, you kind of tend to work from everywhere. Laying on the couch, laying in bed, standing in the kitchen, eating your lunch, and you might do all those in one day. But if you actually carve out an intentional workspace for yourself, it's kind of like a mental signal for yourself and to anyone else you're traveling with that, hey, I'm in the zone, this is where I get work done. This is a big reason why we wanted this Winnebago Forza 38D floor plan specifically, because you can see this desk right behind me. This is my office. It's also my hallway and the way that I get into my bathroom, but during my work hours, this is my office. Tip number four batch your work. This is a great way to work more efficiently so you can actually have more time to be outside fly fishing on the river outside of my window instead of inside working. So batching your work can be really simple things like choosing one day a week and doing all of your meetings on that one day instead of having a meeting every single day of the week and having to stay home because you can't miss that one call. Tip number five, maximize your travel days. Just because you're behind the wheel driving your house down the road doesn't mean you can't be productive or at least feel productive. You can listen to industry podcasts and audiobooks. You can call friends and colleagues and mentors and connect over the phone while you're driving. Good way to stay awake, by the way. Or maybe you can record audio messages to yourself. I do this as an author all the time as a way to write, but not actually be writing. I'm actually driving to the national park. Tip number six, find your balance. When you work from home, you work just a couple feet from your bed and from your living room and from your kitchen. And it's easy to feel like you suddenly have no work-life balance anymore. I think this is extra true if you live in an RV. So you need to find a way to balance your work, but also enjoy this lifestyle. Sometimes I feel really lazy because all I've done all week is go on hikes and go kayaking and live my best life out of our Winnebago. But other weeks, I stay up late and I'm working 10 hours a day and I feel like a crazy workaholic. Either way, you're not really getting the full benefits of this whole working from the road RV entrepreneur lifestyle. You need to find your own balance. Maybe that means working in the mornings and playing in the afternoons or vice versa. Or maybe that means working for three days a week and playing for four days a week or vice versa. But whatever you do, you have to enjoy both parts of the lifestyle. Otherwise, what's the point of even doing this? Tip number seven, use all the tools. Working from home is pretty easy nowadays, especially compared to whatever we started back in 2014. Now you can do video conferences with Zoom. You can keep track of to-do lists with Trello and Asana. You can share documents with your team with Google Drive. You can share files with Dropbox. You can use Crisp to wipe out background audio noise if you're doing meetings. You can use Help Scout to manage customer support. You can use HubSpot to manage your sales and things. There's tools for everything. 
Use what you need, ignore what you don't, but make your life a little bit easier by using the tools created to make working from home easy. Number eight, get dressed. After years of working from home, I slowly started just never ever changing out of my pajamas. And while it didn't necessarily affect my productivity, it definitely affects your mindset. Because if you sit on the couch, it's just like so easy just to relax, take a nap, and then get nothing done. But when you get dressed, it sends that little signal to your mind, kind of like a cup of coffee in the morning, that it's time to start the day and it's time to get some work done. Plus then when someone does come knocking on your door, you don't have to spend five minutes trying to find pants. Tip number nine, use a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, and this is a way to protect yourself online. Whenever you travel, you end up connecting to public Wi-Fi a lot. Right now, I'm using campground Wi-Fi. Sometimes you use coffee shop Wi-Fi, or maybe you connect in a Target parking lot. All these public Wi-Fis are a great way for hackers to steal your information. But when you use a VPN, this is a great way to protect yourself from things like identity theft and fraud and from people stealing all of your passwords. And one final tip, end your work day. Just like you get dressed and have a cup of coffee to start your day, you need something to signal, hey, I'm done with work. Now it's just time to enjoy wherever you are. For me, this means answering a couple emails, making sure there's nothing outstanding on my to-do list and just closing the laptop and pushing away from the desk. For you, it might mean journaling and reflecting on your day or writing out tomorrow's to-do list. Whatever your little ritual is, it's a great way to say, you know what, I'm done, I killed it, let's go outside. Whether you're an entrepreneur building a business on the road or working a remote job from your RV, I hope this video gave you a little insight of what it's like working on the road. For more tips on running a remote business, you can check out our RV Entrepreneur Podcast or visit our website, heathandalyssa.com.